Hey Centaurians, and welcome to the second video for the Last Creep Standing. This is going to be the scary difficulty. We're going to once again go ahead and talk to Boo and challenge him for the right to do the scary arena. Again, this one costs 50,000. And we're going to go in, and for this one, I do believe we end up fighting demon skeletons, crypt shamblers, and mummies, if I'm not mistaken. If you do come in and do this quest at a high level, it does become slightly boring. Well, a little bit more resistant, considering the demon skeletons. They take most damage from frost. The fire f fire uh, spell would probably not do much of anything to them at this point, because they are immune to fire, if I am remembering my tibia mechanics right. Oh, no, I guess... Hmm. Could have swore they were immune to fire, but maybe not on Centaur, which is good. It means you can cast whichever your preference. They seem to do about the same amount of damage. Again, I am on a level just over 600 um, Druid. And I do have donor gear, just for the sake of this quest. Normally I don't use donor gear, just to show it from the uh, perspective of the average player. But I'm not 100% that I'll be able to handle Dreadful at this point without it, even though um, Scary doesn't seem to be too much of an issue. But as long as I don't let the the vampires, the vampire brides, or the, the liches and all build up. I think I should be okay. Once again, at the end of this video, I will show you where the uh, rewards room is, just in case you skipped the previous video, or did not continue watching all the way to the end. As you can see, um, for the most part, you can just stand in the center and do damage, as long as you have a decent bit of gear, um, or um, greater mana potions would probably be more than adequate to survive in here. I just use the ultimate mana runes because they seem to be doing the trick with donor gear, but if you don't have donor gear, the the greater mana potion probably would be the better bet. They should be able to last you through the full five minutes. I guess I can go ahead and put myself on full D. I used to play in a, a night that I don't even pay attention to it. Over halfway done. With this section at least. I don't, that wave didn't seem to spawn as many as they usually do. I mean, you can get at least a, a decent number of levels. I think I was 615 when I started the, the first uh, level of Spooky. Oh, there we go. That's a full group of them. And if you happen to not think you have the, the proper gear or uh, skills to withstand a full group of nine surrounding you, just slowly move your way around while they're following you. They're not particularly fast. And you can stop yourself from getting overwhelmed. At 
this level with uh, full gear and magic level 150. Most of that is from the gear. Let's see. Yeah, 106, which isn't particularly high for a caster. Uh, the Crypt Shamblers seem to melt. Oh, there we go. That's the end of round two. And once again, the that will be the middle room here. And we will show the opening of all the doors. Um, each door comes with its own achievement as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, and I will see you on the third video.